Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I think I'm on live now. <laughs> okay, first off, you probably wonder why am I wearing this hat at almost 11 o'clock at night, but because I've been having kind of a hurricane, so henceforth my hat, hurricane, and I sell them, retail them in my salon. They're exclusively for people who are deciding for the moment to take their hair on a break, and so my hair has been on a break for probably about a week. It's most definitely shampooed and conditioned um, very well, but I just didn't feel like doing anything else. I didn't want to add any heat to it for a little while. I didn't want to um, put any stress on it, so I didn't want to braid it, twist it, um, wear it in a ponytail. I just really wanted to give it what I call a haircation. And again, that's my terminology, something that I came up with. And haircation is just when you take a vacation from doing anything to your hair. But I got to look like something, right? Like I can't walk around um, being a stylist with absolutely nothing <laughs> done to my hair. So I had um, about not this past Tuesday, but Tuesday prior, I had a question asked that I was supposed to answer on last Tuesday. And the question was, how do you take care of color treated hair? So for those who know me and those who don't, especially for those who don't. My name is Dewana Whitted. I am the owner of DJ's Healthy Hair Salon located on the corner of Indian Drive um, in Fayetteville, North Carolina, closer to the Vander area, but um, most definitely still considered Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, I have been in that, been in the industry now about 20 years and I'm really known for taking good care of hair. So my passion is healthy hair. And so to answer the question, how you take care, take care of color treated hair, I, it's kind of a big question to answer in a little bit of time, but I'm going to do my best to attempt to answer it and give you just as much advice as I can so that it can help you on your healthy hair care journey. Again, I say this um, video is, do, is being shot because somebody asked me the question. And so the person who asked me the question was Miss Lisa Snow. So Miss Lisa Snow, this is for you. And my apologies to you that I did not make the video last, last week. Um, I kind of had a very exciting week last week and it was like super busy. I had my praise be to God, my second grandchild. And so I'm a now a grandmother of two. And so during the time that I was supposed to be shooting, I had the awesome opportunity to welcome in a new granddaughter. So, here I am to answer the question. In process of answering this question, I want to kind of do my hair, right? Like, I think I'm going to flat iron just a little bit. So, I know that y'all are looking going, oh my gosh, I see why she had the hat on because I got like a thick thing going on up under it. But I felt like this was a good way to not only answer your questions, but kind of give you a little bit on how I was talking about the last time I was with you talking about how to flat iron here at home and how to um, not have your flat iron too high. I felt like it would be a good opportunity to show you what I'm talking about on my head. So here it goes. So now to answer the question, and I know I'm... I'm kind of doing a little bit bigger of a chunk only because it's like 11 o'clock at night and I really ain't that serious about it. But I think I just want to go with the straight look. So that's pretty much what you're going to see me doing is just giving my hair this kind of silky straight look. I don't think I'm going to go in for all the curls. Um, but again, I'm supposed to be answering the question of color. So with that being said, um, I love color. I absolutely love color. And now normally I would by this time have some highlights, but I just haven't found the color that I want to go with. But the one thing that I realized in doing color was that whenever you're doing color on your hair or having your hair color treated, that your hair has like 100% um, in a in its healthy state, all of the nutrients that is needed, right, to promote and to continue on on healthy hair. That's in its in a in a state where the hair is healthy. Now, some people um, put color on, and some people have color applied, even though they know their hair is not in a healthy state. Um, but traditionally speaking, 
if your hair is in a healthy state, it's, it's better whenever you apply color. So now if, say for instance, if you got color and you notice that your hair is breaking or the hair is dry, the reason that is is because when you apply color, you actually are taking, taking the nutrients for lack of a better way to say it, you're taking the nutrients out of the hair, right? So the hair is strong, healthy, and vital, but now you go in and you lift some of that out of the hair. So what, what causes the hair to become dry and brittle is because nine times out of 10, after the color service is done, um, you may not have thought that you need to now go back in re and replace. Or expect, or I got so many thoughts going in at one time, on how to take care of this color but you want to make sure you go in and replace you replace by making sure that you have deep condition treatments you might need moisture you might your hair might need protein now because when you lift it you may have lifted some of the protein out when you lift it the color you may have lifted some of the moisture out thus causing your hair to be dry and brittle but you gotta know like um i don't necessarily suggest that you just go to the store and go um down the aisles and just start buying moisture products or protein products because you hear me saying this you really need to know what your hair is missing in order to give your hair the best benefit you need to know whether your hair is what your hair is missing so that you can actually apply what it is that your hair is missing back into it and that way you get the best results you get what I'm saying so you don't want to just put like say for instance you wouldn't want to put vitamin E if your hair is really really doing well with vitamin E like you you're not missing that but if you're missing vitamin E then you most definitely want to go back in and apply vitamin E so that's why I'm saying to you you don't want to just go down the aisles and go oh my gosh let me put this because she said that you need to, it would be to me in my best interest whether you choose me or somebody else you need to have a professional opinion to look at your color and see what it is that your hair is missing and give you a consultation on what would be the best service or what would be the best product to apply to your tresses. Okay? Make sense? That's tip one. Tip two would be when you're flat ironing. Now, mind you, um, a couple of weeks ago when I done our video, I talked about how, and I know you see me finger parting it versus using the comb, but when I, um, when I done my video a couple of weeks ago, I talked about how that you want to make sure that your flat iron is not too high. Well, it's the same thing for color treated hair. Now, once you color treat that hair, you most definitely want to go in and make sure that that flat iron is not too hot because now you're going to be singeing those tresses because it's already missing something it's already in a in a weakened state so now if you go in and you got your flat iron super high now you got even more opportunity to damage those tresses so like I said, tip one, make sure you know what it is that your hair is missing and then start applying that back into your routine for your weekly routine, every two week routine, or if it's monthly that you shampoo your hair, you want to make sure you add that back in Two, You want to make sure that your um, implements, your irons and things of that nature, you want to make sure that they're not too hot. You want to make sure you turn them down so that you don't singe your tresses. Three. Um, don't necessarily go willy-nilly on your trims. Like sometimes people want to get the color, but they don't want to necessarily take care of it. So one of the things that I often say in my salon, and it's surprising to a lot of clients, um, some people are coming the door and a lot of my clients, if they're even on or watch this video, they can testify that I'm so serious about this. If you sit in my chair and you say, I want color and your hair is damaged, I say, no, I don't care how much money you're paying. It ain't about the money. I love healthy hair and when you leave my salon I want that same representation to be represented for me when you leave the salon so if I put color in your hair your hair is already damaged then the problem is that you're gonna be like well Dewana did it and you would be right because I did it knowing that your hair was already in a weakened state so for me it would be in my best benefit to say to each and every client no no, no, let's build that hair up. So tip three is that if you feel like when you when you take and go through your hair tresses and you start to do what I call the strand test, which would probably be hard to show you through this video right now because it seems like I got to get to the very finest of one single hair strand to be able to pull it. But the strand test, uh, and I got one, but it's kind of hard to see on the video. Actually, I got like two or three. Hold on, let me see if I can grab one. But... The strand test is simply taking 
the strand between the fingertips and pulling it taut. Now you see the strand like this, it's in between my fingers and now I'm going to hold it taut. I'm going to get closer to the video so that you can see. Um, and I'm not for sure if you can really see good, but I'm going to pull this. See as I'm pulling it? Did you see that? My hair stretched within, but it did not break. So whenever you're getting ready to have or considering a hair color service, go in the mirror, pull one strand, put it between your two fingers taunt, and then do not release it. Like hold these fingers tight and then slightly pull. If that hair doubles in its length, then it lets you know that that hair has good moisture in it. It would be a better foundation for color than if when you start to pull, that hair immediately pops. If that hair immediately pops, it's letting you know that if you do anything on top of that, like heat or color, then you're going to damage it even more. So what I would suggest, remember I said this was three, that you would build the hair up. Again, that would be simply by going in and having a consultation. Some people charge for the consultation. Some people's consultations are free, but nevertheless, go in for the consultation and ask them, is my hair strong enough for the color service? Now, let me say this too, because some color, it just depends on what color service you're doing. If you're doing a deposit color only, then you don't have to worry about all that because you're just going to be depositing color into the hair strand versus lifting the hair. So when I'm telling you all of this, this is based on you lifting the hair. Meaning if you wanted a color that was like honey blonde, platinum blonde, or even some of your, um, like your hues of your greens, your blues, where it is like, you have to lift that hair first. You want to know that when you lift that hair and you lift it to its highest state before you apply the green, that once you lift that hair, that when you finally get to the service, the color service that you desire, that at the end of it, you're going to still have hair. Like what, what purpose would it serve if you were to lift it, lift it high, get the green that you want, but then you're looking in the bathroom or you're at sleep at night and your hair is falling off on the pillowcase. You get what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that you take the time to, one, test your hair strands. And I simply showed you that a while ago with the strand test. And then you want to make sure that you're not using too hot of a flat iron. Or um, And then another thing, too, is like even if you don't use, like some may say, well, the one I, I don't never put a flat iron in my hair. All I do is twist it. And all I do is keep it braided or all I do is keep it sewn in and it's braided up under here. Here's the problem. Even if you keep it twisted, even if you keep it braided and you're not applying any heat, here's the thing. When you're pulling tightly on that hair, remember when I showed you in between the, tra the, the strand in between my fingers, when I showed you that while ago, if you pull it too tight and it doesn't, if you pull it taut between your fingers and it does not stretch double in its length without breaking, if it breaks immediately, then here's what you're going to have. When you braid it, guess what? You're putting even more excessive strength on it when you're, when you're braiding. So guess what? The same result can happen that you can have breakage after the color service because you're braiding it thinking you're doing the best for it but the hair is not in good condition i've seen it happen on so many levels when people say well the one i'm not doing this and i'm not doing that but they're doing other things that's causing it to break it's break as well so you want to make sure that you take care of those tresses because here's the thing that i've learned i was um i know this is probably going to seem like i'm sidebarring onto something else but really the other a little while ago, I don't know whether it was the other month, but it's been a little while ago, but I was praying and talking to the Lord about hair. And I was telling him, like, I really, really love healthy hair. Some may ask, well, Dewana, why are you so, why are you so on hair being healthy? Because in the end, when I was talking to him about it, he was like, I design hair to last you a lifetime. So if you do things to it now that damage it, sometimes you can damage it to the extent of no return. So that means I have seen so many women that have told me when they was younger all of this stuff that they used to do to the hair and then when I meet them it's like I feel so sorry for them because they have done so much thinking that that infamous thought that probably all of us have had at some time it's just hair I can do what I want to it's not it's really was designed by God to be the glory of a woman so you have to 
mm, excuse me, take pride in your hair. You have to take pride in doing what you know is necessary, doing what you know is needful for your hair so that you can have hair when you turn 60, hair when you turn 70, hair when you turn 80, hair when you turn 120. Like, don't you still want to have a head full of hair versus not having none? So, it would behoove you and myself included, to take, I know, my hair is still a mess and I haven't finished flat on it, but I promise you that I will at some point because <laughs> I'm looking like, wow, I still not have finished, haven't finished this flat iron service. But it will behoove you and I to take good care of our hair because, again, God gave it to us as the glory of a woman and it was intended to last us a lifetime. Not, last but not least, um, some of you may have seen, some of you may have heard, on February the 16th, I am offering a seminar, a healthy hair seminar. It's called Healthy Hair Mastery, where we will like dive, take a deep dive, deep look into how to keep your hair healthy. Now, here's the thing. Some may say, well, the one I already sit in your chair and I don't need this, like, because you're the one taking care of my hair. But you never know when you have to take care of your tresses at home yourself. Wouldn't it be nice to not just have me on speed dial, but to have all of the information packed into a resource packet that you already have per adventure. So if you're doing your hair, whether you're doing your mom's, your grandmother, or even your own children, that you know how to take care of health, your hair at home because I've given you the tips, the tools, and the resources to get the job done. If so, you got to join me. I have an um, event right, event right, <laughs> already set up on this page. Um, all you have to do is go register. It will be food. It will be hands-on workshops, and it will, it will be a practicum. So you will get what you need to know how to take care of your hair at home. I so greatly appreciate you stopping by and listening. Again, I am Dewana Whitted, owner of DJ Let's Help the Hair Salon. And at some point tonight, I will finish all of this and I will have some pretty sleek hair all over. <laughs> Just not right now. But um, again, owner of DJ Let's Help the Hair Salon. And if you're looking for someone to take care of your hair, please hit me up. Um, you see I'm on Facebook um, and all my information is there. Give me a call. I would love to help you take care of your hair. Until next time, talk to you soon. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And who knows, it might be your question that I'm answering the next time on a video. Thanks again for stopping by. Stay tuned. Look forward to seeing you soon. And don't forget, sign up for our Healthy Hair Mastery, February the 16th. And the information is above um, on Eventbrite and all of the details are there. Eventbrite. I keep saying Eventbrite. I don't know why I keep saying that, but Eventbrite. Thank you again. Bye-bye.